Hello and welcome to Panda Bricks, where today I have a very badly packaged Lego haul from eBay. And we're just going to get straight into why this thing's so badly packaged. This was listed as collection only. We asked if we could arrange a courier. They said yes. And we eventually managed to get it done. And this is what they sent. For the first sight, it doesn't look too terrible. We have a cardboard box with some tape. And in the photos, they showed it in two different boxes. A Lego Classic box and also a Sweet box. So you can see here, we have the brown box, and uh, unfortunately, they only just put one strip of tra ra tra tape around the whole thing. So at the bottom, there are some major gaps. If I shake this a little bit, pieces are falling out, and a load have already fallen out, so that's definitely not good. We paid fifty six sixty four for this, including the courier and i think it's worth around 200 pounds so i don't know whether any or if any has fallen out or maybe it's a lot maybe none has fallen out we'll get i guess we'll find out and see how much is missing and oh no it is still in the boxes it looks like the stuff just fell out of the boxes uh -huh. inside and we've done three couriers one's this one the first one they sent it in a bin bag and the second one, they just took a built modular and put it in a box three times the size with no packing. So, here's the sneak peek. Not mm. great packing. So, it's probably coming out the sweet box. Yeah, it's coming out the sweet box. So, out comes... Oh, my goodness. Pieces are falling out left, right, and center of the stone. They should have taped up the sweet box, shouldn't they? Yeah, it looks like it was taped up previously. Yeah, that's for tape, that's the tape from the original oh switch. what is this cursed soul? Is it faked? No, that's not fake, is it? It's not Lego, it's nothing to do with it. Oh, okay, Lego. let's have a catch. Is it like a Spongebob thing of some kind? Yeah. Uh, by the way, we have some lovely, look at, that hairy, little, look at that little beauty. Hairy, sticky, yellowed, dustiness. <laughs> oh, oh no not the lion poly bag <laughs> oh come on where's the good and stuff oh i can see someone's been on the roof oh <laughs> that was a great thing to put in my lego haul video at least we have a figure here we have superman let's just check he's genuine yeah this is a common figure i do believe so we also have that which has addresses on it. Oh no, I probably showed our address at the start of this video. D mm, doubt so, it. So uh, we also have a bag with some pieces of plastic that aren't Lego things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, manuals, everyone. This kind of metabolis, whatever you call it, mm -hmm. seven pounds. Classic box, perfect condition manual. Uh, that's around 15. Everyone's favourite set, two pounds. Farm, we've already got one of these for sale, 15. The ATRTs, around 20, 23. Uh, these sets are both like 30, 35 a piece, so hopefully the rare figures are in there. We have a couple of superheroes, this one's 15 and this one's 25. And then a couple of Lego movies. This one's a bit folded. There you go. Now we get to the weirdness, which is a piece of plastic. Fantastic. It looks like we're just gonna like sort this live on camera. I see a Minecraft cow head. Uh, let's pull this box out. So oh, that's quite a heavy one. I'll move this off to the side. We can see here 10695. Looks like they did take this one up. Mm -hmm. So that's good. So we cut this tape here. Box is in not great condition. Definitely looks like it's been in like a loft or something. Mm -hmm. How many pieces in that classic set? 500, I think. Oh, so that will have um, quite a lot of a. So other... here's something I did see in the photos fake. Uh -huh. And we also have an extremely yellow 501st uh, clone mm -hmm. holding a knife for some reason or other. We also have a Chima guy for some reason or other. Mm -hmm. 
That's not even how the phrase goes. We have a dimensions thing for some reason. <laughs> we have a Spider-Man, everyone's favorite minifigure. We have whatever the heck this is. It's not Lego. We have some like a uh, cars thing. It's a thing. That's all I know. Right, let's dump this. We're going for it. Oh my god, <laughs> more than I expected in here. <laughs> you got Mr. Potato? Oh my goodness! What is this? <laughs> That's Mr. Potato we head. We have all kinds of stuff. We have some kind of like cheapo... No, no, it is Hasbro. Some kind of transformer. Okay. A piece of plastic. Uh, whatever the heck. That's this. probably for this. A hand. For some reason, we have a, a pullback. For some reason, they put the stickers for it on the bottom. Very clever. Where are. I think I did see the Django's pet. Where's he gone? We have a Yoda. I'm pulling all kinds of stuff. There's an Aquaman, Juniors, Mega Blocks. Oh, here's the Django Fett figure that's rare. Worth. Uh, like 15. I'm not sure whether we'll have the torso. I mean, the helmet. We got this. We got all kinds of different figures. We've got Mega Blocks. We've got clones. We've got cursed legless things. We've got pieces of plastic. We've got headgear. Oh, we've that's part of Mr. Potato oh, Head, maybe. We've got Lucy. We've got Mega Blocks. We've got Buzz Droid parts, or whatever those things are called. We've got heads. Green lanterns that have been mishmashed. Action figures. Action Minecraft thing my bombers. Batman's headgear. Torsos. Ninjago. Wait, that I did see it here. A Ninjago to not a Ninjago. A Dimensions toy thing. This is Jurassic World apparently. I also have a Jurassic World torso here. How much more can we pull out of this? Whatever the heck this thing is. You probably can't see any of this. We have whoever this guy is that they put a Star Wars head on. We have this thing. We have some glasses. Let me try these ones on. There we go. Greatest looks of 2022. We have Iron Man helmet. We've got heads. Oh, this is such a mishmash. We've got coal from Ninjago. Construction worker torsos, Jurassic World, headgear, looks like a Ninjago mini droid, piece of plastic, as the sun goes in, meaning the lighting's probably terrible. Here's a Ninjago dimensions thing. Oh, Lego? Oh, it is that piece. Interesting one there. So, I think I've pulled most of the figures. Here's a droid cut. Uh, there's another battle droid piece. I am seeing some part. Oh my goodness, what is this? A Batman, isn't it? <laughs> it's a Batman. A robot odd looking one. That I red have. piece looks like a piece of plastic. Which red piece? This, this, this. Oh yeah, piece of plastic. Number 5211. Juniors. Oh, here's another mishmash figure of Batman and Ninjago. What sets this from? I recognise this, I can't remember what it is. There's metal bids to Oh I saw the shark in here, did I pull that out? Um I'm not sure. Oh that might have been in the other box. I can see another dimensions piece. Oh yeah, well who we got here? More Jurassic World. So uh yeah. Now I have a load of Lego on my bedroom floor, so that's fantastic. Should I put this away? No, I was I'd say we'll get a Tip out the other one. We're tipping out the other one. And I'll one. get a box. Right, we'll start with what remains in this tray. We have a generic dimensions thing. We have some kind of figure. We have an Iron Man. Uh, 
whatever that was, I can't remember, higher up tool slide. That's an interesting piece, that's probably from the Jurassic World Dimensions. We've got Fate. We have a load of loom bands, a wheel, a metal beard beard, very nice. I'll leave that in there and then we take out this stuff. That's what you would call some stuff. So there's some sweet shop favourites for all you sweet people. That's definitely not me. We have um, Clone Trooper. A lot of dimension stuff. More Chima with wrong heads. We've got an Emmet. Droid. Is he in a set here? Yes. And you need to say that because we need an Emmet. Um, this thing. We have a Skelling Tom. We have this thing. Thing. Right, let's just dump this. I hope you could see what I dump here. Yeah, most of it, not so, all of it. Dump it closer to you. So we'll dump this. Hopefully the man will. No, not to me. Closer to me. Yeah. I don't. Okay, so hopefully he will adjust the camera angle to you. Oh my goodness. So we've probably lost a few of the smaller pieces. Have we got everyone? I feel like I'm gonna be chasing this for a while. Let's go check. Okay, there's still a couple of pieces. I'll get them out later because you probably don't want to watch me shake a box for 20 minutes. We have more Lego movie figures. Our hair piece. So yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this one if mm -hmm. I'm honest. It's very mishmashy. And let me think, do, do I really think we're going to have all these sets in here? Like, where's the tread for this? There's a long old thing, a tread. I don't, oh, wow, I found one. Mm -hmm. That's very impressive. Uh, like, I don't know. Have mm -hmm. I seen that big green piece? I mean, this tread. Yeah, but I need, like, 20 on. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Fifty-six pounds. Oh, as, an, as I find another another mega box piece, perhaps not so well spent. <laughs> but yeah, I think there should still be a little bit of profit in there. So there's another one for, for Mr. Bongle there. There's a lot of miscellaneous garbage in here. Oh, did you show them the Mr. Potato Head? Because I'm sure they need to see that. <laughs> It's pretty, um, interesting. Oh, we found a load more loom bands. So, there we go, as I continue to pull stuff here. I think we'll let, call that one a day there. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next badly packaged Lego haul.